Hi, I'm Teresa the Traveler and today I'm in Tumblr Ridge, British Columbia looking for dinosaur footprints. I am here at the flatbed cabin pool site and I'm hoping to see some of these guys. Alright, we've got a sign here. It says, oh, cabin pool and dinosaur tracks. 1.5 kilometers down this trail. Alright, I made it to cabin pool. This is the Dino dinosaur print site. I think they're just down there by the picnic table. Okay, let's see if we can find them. All right, they're supposed to be somewhere on this rock here. Hmm. Wow, oh wow, look at that. That's one right there. Oh, two of them. Oh, it says viewpoint of initial trackway site. Okay, here it is. So it tells the story of how these first tracks were found. See up there? There's tracks and they've uh, put baby powder in it. Well, these two kids, local kids, were tubing down the rapids. They hit a rock and the one guy fell off. He swam to shore and while they were walking up the bedrock, they saw a series of six depressions in the rock. Wow. So they called the local professional and he confirmed that what they actually found were in fact dinosaur tracks. There's the two boys right there. Wow, oh, look at that. Somewhere down there are the tracks. The creek is low enough today, so I'm going to cross over and see if I can catch a glimpse of the tracks. Apparently they're really hard to find because they faded over time. Alright, I made it across the creek. Where the bench is right there, you come upstream a little bit, and right across here, there's a bit of a shallow ledge that you can cross on. Oh cool, you can see the prints. They're right down here right across from the bench and they go all the way down to the creek. Okay, they're hard to see, I found them. I put a little bit of water in the first one. There's the first one. That's the second one. Then it comes down here. Next one. They're just barely visible, some of these prints. That's a good one there. So obviously, this dude was like heading down to the creek to take a drink. Maybe there was a creek back there at that time. So the prints are right here and that's the bench right there. So from the bench you can see the prints. To get an just to get an idea of how big they are, I'm going to step in each print. Stepping in the next. Whoa. The next one's over here. And then over here. And down there, whoa, over here, and it goes down there, oh, and then one right there. <laughs> cool. So way back in prehistoric times, dinosaur days, this was probably like a muddy bank. And that's how come over time, the footprints kind of fossilized as the banks got harder. To give you an idea of the size, there's my hand in the print. <laughs> well, the tracks have definitely faded over time, but this is what they look like in 2000 when the guys put uh, baby powder in it. So at the cabin pool site, they say on the sign here, it says, in the summer of 2001, Tumblr Ridge resident Alan Durant set out to discover evidence of dinosaurs. He thought there was more to be found in this area. So um, he headed up this way and in July of 2002, he discovered the largest concentration of dinosaur tracks in British Columbia at the time. 
there were over 100 dinosaur prints on this sloping rock surface here. This is only 80 meters up from where the boys made their initial discovery and it helped launch a wave of further dinosaur finds in the area. And it also acted as the spur for the formation of the Tumblr Ridge Museum Foundation. So this ridge here is just full of dinosaur tracks. These two are very pronounced. And then you just head down here. And you see some other really big ones. Wow, this is so cool. Oh wow, here's some more prints. There's just so many on this rock and they're very well defined. At the Dinosaur Center here, they offer these lantern tours and they'll take you to Wolverine, the Wolverine tracks and they'll show you the tracks at night because apparently it's a lot easier to see. Unfortunately, the guide doesn't work Tuesdays and Wednesdays and I'm here on a Tuesday and Wednesday. So right now, I'm in the Tumblr Ridge Dinosaur Discovery Gallery. Right at the till here, you can see an actual dinosaur bone. It's really heavy. <laughs> this is a theropod trackway. The original specimen was collected from southwestern BC in 2008. This is a Tyrannosaurus footprint. It is from the first Tyrannosaurus trackway to ever be found in the world. This one's a theropod dinosaur. And the one over here, you can see uh, skin impressions. Check that out. So the, the display in the middle here gives you an idea of kind of what the tracks would look like. Check that out. This display is some of the first bones from British Columbia's first complete dinosaur skeleton. Cool, that is Tyrannosaurus teeth. I'm hiking up to Nesbitt Falls and this totally looks like a dinosaur print. I don't know if it is or not, but wow, it looks like one. Cool, it looks like there's more tracks or fossilized something on this rock. Wow, according to this sign, this is an area where Cretaceous dinosaurs roamed. So possibly that was a dinosaur print.